Hi again everyone, this is Katie with Insect Art and I've had a couple of requests to show you how to pull the wings out of a beetle to spread the beetles with the wings out in the flying position. So I have two that I'm going to do for you tonight. I have two of the same species. They're both uh, Torinorhina flamea, but this is the violet version and this is the red version. Just two different color variations of the same beetle. So I have soaked them overnight in the box that I'm using. I'm using this uh, lovely white piece box. And it just has a washcloth in there that's damp. It's not soaking wet, just damp. Any kind of uh, Tupperware, anything with a sealable lid will do. Keep those in there overnight and they'll become just just moistened enough that you can work with them. So we'll open this guy up. Take a look at him. He's real pretty, a red color. They're really easy to move when they're in this kind of state. So you can just take your hands and kind of fold out the legs a little bit. Just pretend like he's going to go walking around, give them a little shake to get them limber again. Really easy to do. And if you want, take a little sewing pin and get in there and get his antenna flipped up. I don't know how well you can see that, but beetles have little antennas and it's nice to show them, I think. They're kind of cute. So, it's really pretty easy. If you just want your beetle to look like he's crawling around, you're done. Uh, you know, just put in your pins around the legs or whatever and, and let them dry overnight and you're finished. But if you want to show the beetle having wings, looking like it's flying, there's extra steps to take. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you. First thing we need to do is open the elytra. The elytra are the hard wing covers on the back and they pop open just like a car trunk. I read somewhere and that's kind of a, a good way to remember it. Just stick your little fingernail right under the elytra and just carefully pop it up and now it's you heard a little crack but that's okay you're probably not gonna break it just go gentle and slow pop both of them up and you can see the wings are underneath I'm gonna use my tweezers here to pull out the wings if you can see get in there between the elytra and the abdomen and you see a wing it's all folded up so just grab it carefully and pull out and there it is I'm gonna pull out the other one now okay now we're ready to pin it in place. I'm just going to sit it on my styrofoam board. Any flat piece of styrofoam is good. And use my pins to go around and secure it in place. Put the legs where I want them in the front part. And I'll put a couple pins in the back part here to just hold it while I pull the wings out. I'm going to use the tweezers again for this part. Once you have the body mostly secured, then you can pull up the wing. Just hold it where you want it. There's no scales to rub off or anything, so you can handle them. And I just like to put a pin just kind of like that. You don't have to put the pin through the wing unless you're really having troubles. And it may take two or three pins. Some beetle wings are harder to pull out than others. You can get them to stay where you want them, but that one was pretty well behaved. So I'm going to pull out the other one. Just hold it in place with my finger while I get this pin to just go over the top of it. And there they are. That was too easy. And the little antenna like to pop back down, so I'm going to remind them that they need to come out again. You can use a pin to keep them in place if they're not going to stay for you. 
After that, just take your pin and your pins, your sewing pins. Get those legs wherever you want them. If you want the legs to come out a little bit more, you can pull them with the tweezer. Sometimes you have to just hold that body down because it's not having any pins through it. We don't want pins through our bugs, at least I don't. I don't think they look very lifelike with pin coming out of them. Okay, we got them where we want them, pretty much. Then we'll just let them dry overnight. I still have the blue one to do, so I'm just going to do them real quick so you can watch again how it works. Open them up. Let's just stretch the legs out just so they're pliable and easily movable. I like to find the antenna with a pin. Just pull them on out so that they're easily reachable when he's right side up. Okay, and we'll pop the wings open again. These flower beetles, they don't, the wings don't come off as much as they do on like jewel beetles. You can just take the whole wing and rotate it out and, and you can do all kinds of cool stuff with the Elytra, but Flower beetles seem to be a little more stationary. In the way the elytra just want to come up a little bit, just enough to let that wing out, and then they're, they don't want to move anymore. So that's okay. We got them open far enough to pull out folded up wing. And there's one out. We'll grab the other one here. There's wing number two. So we're ready to just set them down. Start putting pins around the body to hold him down. Okay, we're good there. Now we can pull out the wings. Pin them where we want them. All right, then we'll pin around the legs and the little antenna, push them back up. They'll usually stay for you once. These kind do anyway. Some you do have to pin in place, but that's not hard. Pull the little leg. It's really looking pretty good. Some of them take more work than others. This guy's about where we want him. So, see if we can give you a closer look at how they are pinned. If you have any questions when you're trying to do your own beetles, just contact me at the email address that you see on the screen and I'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.